Well, we just finished watching Nothing But a Dreamer. A very conservative drive. Finished second. James is a winner. So I guess all the horses out of the stable finish one, two, three in the Wellwood uh, Constellation. Maybe next year we can finish first, second, and third in the Wellwood. That would be helpful. Um, Jason's Barn. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of horses in here. Jason's Barn right now. I, I, I thought we were down on horse a little bit, but I'm looking at a lot of horses in Dominic Camarios. Anyway, Jason's Barn, Columbus. Um, not my finest work. Driving him the other day. Uh, but he, he just he fools you into thinking he's ready to make a move and then it's almost like he laughs at you as soon as you start to allow him to do it and he, he's a frustrating horse but he's not racing horrible uh, I, I still believe it wouldn't have been a bad thing to sell the horse but eh, whatever we'll, we'll see how it plays out Coupe de Ville uh, disappointing both their starts in Sayota but really outside of those two the, the fair start was good uh, the second fair start was okay I don't know where, Jason uh, Jason didn't make a mistake. The race office screwed up. Jason called the race office and they said, ah, oh, there's only five entered. We don't know if we're gonna go with it or if it's gonna fill. And then, so he entered the, he did what he should have done. He entered the horse in the fair and then they did fill the race. So I don't know what Jason's gonna do. I'm gonna leave that up to him. Um, uh, Amor Diener is, why is this, a, oh, we just started doing it after this, okay. Amor Diener, uh, obviously the downtime on the track set him back a week or so, but. I suspect he's ready to go on the race bike and qualify very soon. Blue Tesla, if she wins out of the seven hole on Wednesday, she'll be headed to Canada to race at Mohawk in the very near future. Bravura, this is our newest horse to her and uh, the other filly is Miss My Sweet Mimi. Uh, they'll probably race within the next 10 days. Uh, Bravura, Jason Jug, both of them taste, told me they both look good, so I'll get to see them this week. I'm over in the US for most of the week, starting Monday morning. <clears throat> uh, where are we next? Compass Rose DC jogging back. I know Jason, he, she, he said, ah, they feel great. I, I know, let's, let's put a good three weeks of jogs in the first. So um, Compass Rose DC looks good in the barn. Both her and and um, both her and my jazz look very, very good. Uh, Cutie Cumber, a little tiny bit concerning. They chopped all the toes off her when she left Ontario. She trotted, but then was a little off right front after the race. Um come up a little bit sick we had to scratch her but in the meantime her feet really didn't cool down that much they've been bothering her quite a bit and uh the vet is going to take a closer look at them now she was just shot yesterday just had shoes put back on her we had them off her for three days just trying to get the heat out of those feet they seemed good jason said she jogged really good but on the pavement back to the barn was a little pinchy so we'll have the vet look at her tomorrow but i suspect her feet are just i, I don't know why though why they'd be a little sore now but We'll see how she is tomorrow. Um, full heart obviously needs to recuperate and uh, let that little line in her right hind cannon bone fill in. She'll be racing next year. She's that'll that'll be the end for the season for her. Grace races tomorrow night at Georgian Downs. I expect a good race, and if she does race as good as I hope, she will be somebody else's Monday after the um, after the preferred sale. High Enterprise out to the field. This is one of the rare times where I will turn out a horse that is not racing good. And is really disappointing me. I just I think there is a horse in there. We have a lot of into her, and I just don't think she's had an opportunity to get on a roll. Now, she, I always had that voice in my head saying, "Are you really just making excuses for?" Her? I have to be honest. There's part of me that believes I am, but I will let it play out. We will turn her out. And we'll bring her back in and race her hopefully in the springtime. <clears throat> Where are we at now? Uh, Holding the tone is in the stall. Getting, he's jogging. We want to get some weight on him and freshen him up. I want to have the freshest horse for the fall and the winter. He's going to do a lot of good for us, this horse, at Mohawk or wherever we choose to race him. But I want to make sure he's in good shape to do it. Um, LD's Patrick training back good. He looks amazing. Jeez, he looks good in the barn. I can't wait to see this horse race. Um, My Jazz, as I said, looks great. My Sweet Mimi will race in about 10 days. Giant, 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 giant filly. Oh, my gosh, another giant colt. He's, uh, I'll be there. I'm going to train him on Wednesday and see how he trains. Um, Purple Aura raced good the other day. Different. I, I, I told you this in a couple of videos. She, she acted different. Different. I don't know how to explain it. Cool. Just calm. She wasn't sharp. She was a little flat. But she went about her work in a different way than I've seen her do it. And I know that Jason has been working with a chiropractor with this filly. And I'm interested to see how she's going to race her next start. 
Um, Slim Jimmy was great at the fair. He's going back to the fair this week. Smoking Hot Irish Girl is in the fair also this week. She was very good at Sayota her last start. Sweet on Pete was awesome. 57 and 1, a good bounce back race for her. Swinging Senorita is going to qualify on Thursday morning at Northfield Park. That's a week before her next stake race. Um, Unbeatable Kemp is at Northfield right now, and he's going to wait to catch a ride home until we figure out how where all the horses are going. We had a little bit of a stall crunch, a little backup at Stutzman's um, at First Line Training Center. There was a, a horseman in the area who had to move some horses around, so some of the trainers at First Line received some of those horses and uh, filled up the stalls a little bit. So we went, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is. We went from 39 being available, maybe 40 right now, to 31. We needed 42, so um, we're going to have to do a little more shuffling uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, Victor Cruz, racing Monday. I think I'm going to put him in the sale um, on Ongate for Tuesday or Wednesday after his next race. He'll have a couple of fares left, a couple of Buckeyes left. <clears throat> I'm not going to carry him over like we did the other Cruiser horse last year. A lot of similarities between these two horses. Um, what a mission. Made a break coming out of the gate. I said he wouldn't make a break. I lied. He did. He raced good after, finished second. He'll be in the fair Monday or Tuesday also. And Whispering Song is also in that same fair. So that is the Mount Gilead Fair. I'll be there Monday and Tuesday. So I'll be back in a minute. We got Dominic Mario. Still got the small burns. Be back in just a minute.